Hey there, everybody. Um, so today we're going to do something that I probably would have done when I first got this. I would have done like a first impressions of the uh, Opus 88 Coloro demonstrator, demonstrator, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I was on my little hiatus when it arrived. So I'm going to do kind of a, I don't know, I'm going to call it first impressions. You want to call it now that I've been using it, here are my thoughts. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be somewhere somewhere between a review and a uh, a first impressions. Um, and before I get started, I just want to say um, again thank you to everybody who stuck around and stayed subscribed throughout my uh, my like two month hiatus because I want to put out videos that I am interested in talking about. I want to put up videos that are interesting for you guys to see. Um, so if there's any particular video that you guys want me to want me to do any kind of interview you want me to do, I'm gonna put a link to a Google Sheets form that I've made up that has all of my ink and I'll put little notes of which ones that I've done ink reviews on before. Um, so if there's anything that you guys want me to do, any ink you want me to review that I have that I haven't reviewed yet for the channel, um, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do that for you. It'll give me a better idea of what it is you guys want to see and hopefully it'll, you know, it'll get me more excited to make more videos for you guys. Um, not that I don't love doing this, but you know, I, I want to make things that you want to see as well as things that I want to make. So without further ado, here is our overview. Let's put that of the Coloro uh, Opus 88 Coloro Demonstrator. Um, so I don't have exact measurements. My hand is not very large, so the pen is quite lengthy. It's like, it's about, it's the length of my, of my hand from the base of my palm to almost the tip of my middle finger. So it's, it's a pretty long pen. But for the size of it, it's not that heavy. Um, it's a light acrylic. It's clear. Not that you can really tell because I've got ink in here right now. Um, it's like frosted here and then it's clear up here. And it's just, it's, the fact that it's got no metal pieces makes it much lighter. If it, was, if it had any metal pieces, it'd be much heavier. Um, the, the cap is twist. It's got, I want to say three full rotations. I haven't actually measured that. Maybe I should have done that before I started doing a review. Um, but it's got about three full rotations. This is a Yovo number no. six nib, and I've got it in medium. I'm gonna hold that up a little bit so you can get a, get a look at it. Um, it's a monster of a nib, I will say. It is quite large. I've got the Twisby VAC 700R, which is also a number no. six nib, but I feel like this one is even, this nib is even bigger or just more of it's exposed. Um, so what's what I really liked about the Opus 88 pens is that these are eyedropper fill pens. So if you don't know what that means, basically, instead of having an internal uh, filling mechanism, what you do is you take off the grip section of the pen, which is covered in ink, and then you literally, there's a little, you can't really see it all that well, but there's a little stopper that plugs up the ink reservoir kind of in the top, so that way you have less burping. You can kind of, you can twist this little knob at the back and pull it back, and then you just fill this whole body with ink. Uh, it was, they're called eyedropper pens because it needs to be done with eyedroppers. Now, I, it came with an eyedropper. I use an ink syringe because it takes less fills to, to get it, like, to get it in there. I, it's one ink syringe and I'm good to go. Um, and kind of like the Vax 100 where you want to, like, release the valve so you can let ink flow, you do that with this one too. So if you want to write with more than what you have in your feed, you twist this back and then you let kind of ink make its way through the grip section and then you can twist it back up again once you're done. So I don't know if this is a just a case of how I treat my pens or what. There was a little bit of burping as you can see so it's gotten a little bit in the cap but frankly I kind of like it. I think it looks really cool. I'll be honest. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Um, I just, I really like the style of the, of the cap. I don't know what, what just is very appealing. I really like the style of the, of the clip. Um, I really like this pen in case that wasn't evident. Um, and I, since this was a pen that I didn't really know that much about, I decided to use an ink that I know really well. Uh, and that is Diamine Polar Glow, which works because this is a very wet writer. So you get quite a bit of sheen. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'll give you a little bit of writing sample. This pen writes super smoothly. This pen is just, it's just, it's, I, you can't, you can't post it, which is one thing. I don't care. I don't post my pens ever. So this is, except for maybe my, uh, my Koiko Sport, but I, I very rarely post my pens. Um, so this fits really well in my hand. It's really nicely balanced. It's not back weighted. And like I said, it's not that heavy, even with 
think I had two milliliters of ink in here at one point. It's really not that heavy. So let's do a little bit of a writing sample. This is a medium nib, by the way. I didn't say that already. So that's the writing sample. That's what we got. Um, let's do, I don't know, some of those little swoopy things. Because they're fun to write. It's just a really smooth nib, which is like sadly one of those things I can't really convey on a video how smooth the nib is. It's just really nice to write with. Um, I can do a little bit of a size comparison if I can pull out a pen. Here. So here is the Coloro demonstrator. Here it is up next to one of my other favorite pens, which is the Twisby. 580 uh, AL in diamond, um, the diamond in emerald. Uh, and size wise, length, there really isn't a huge difference in length. I really, for some reason, I had a misconception that this was much bigger uh, than it actually is, like much longer. But when I compare it to a lot of my other pens, it really isn't that much longer. Like if I compare it to a capped Safari, like again, it's really not that much longer. And the usability of the pen, like the usable amount of the pen, is honestly not that much different. So here's the, there's that. Got a lot of rotations. It's like the, the usable amount of the pen, really, there isn't a huge, the difference is really just in the nib. If you can see that, like the difference in size, really, there isn't a huge difference from tip of the nib to the end of the pen. Of course, if we compare it to Koweko, it's quite a bit bigger than the Koweko, <laughs> or the Koweko, sorry. So this one is very easily one of my new favorite pens. I very much enjoy <laughs> writing with it. Um, I bring it in and out of rotation. Uh, sometimes it's in my my main notebook. Sometimes it isn't. I kind of I've been playing with some new inks, so I've been switching stuff around, um, and playing with some new ink pen combinations. As you saw in my last video, which was my February currently inked. Um, I have no plans to switch that up before the end of February. We'll see if that happens. Um, as we all know, I get distracted by shiny things. This was my review overview. This is an eyedropper pen. Um, I. Uh, I don't really have much else to say about it other than it's just a really nicely written pen. And if you if you know Yovo nibs, then you know how this pen writes. Like you know that the nib is gonna be really smooth. It's a bit of a wetter feed than I'm used to, but I, I have no issues with that, especially since I'm using a sheening ink, which hopefully you can see how beautiful that sheen is. It's just so pretty. <laughs> this is one of my favorite inks, in case you haven't figured that out already. I love it. Um so yeah. Uh, if you're in the market for a pen, this one is a little more expensive. I bought it as a celebratory pen. Um, I want to say it was about $120, but I don't. I will put the actual price of the pen in the description. Um, it's oh, it's over $100. I will put it there. For me, this was a little bit of a celebration pen because I had just finished a major project. Um, and I wanted something to commemorate it with. Um... So this isn't like, it's not an eco where I can just immediately go and buy it if I want to, which I have not bought another eco since the transparent purple. I will say that. Um, it's not a, it's not an impulse buy pen is what I'm trying to say. It's definitely, for me, other people's pen tastes are different. But for me, this is one I got to think about it for a year, find a reason to buy it. And then that's what happens. <laughs> I'm a very, I'm very practical. Sometimes I do have impulse buys. Usually those are with pens that are under, under a hundred dollars. Um, but sometimes I have the occasional pen where I really got to think about it for like a really long time before I buy it. So that's my overview. Uh, if you liked the video, please think about uh, subscribing, like, put down a comment if you enjoyed it. Uh, and again, I will have the link to that Google Sheets form uh, with all of my ink that I have and the forms that I have it in uh, down in the description. So that way you guys can look and see what I have and you can look and see if there's anything you want me to go more in depth about. So until next time, I'll see you guys next month. Uh, I post new pen and ink related videos uh, every two weeks. So either the first and the 15th or the 15th and the last day of the month. Um, so until I see you guys next time, have a great day, pen friends, and I'll see you later. Bye.